Hello everybody, I am Jedi Jack Penguin and welcome back to another miniature review. So today we're going to be looking at a Lego Marvel Super Heroes polybag, that being set number 30443, Spider-Man Bridge Battle. This set includes 45 pieces where I bought it for $4.99 as of August 1st from Target.com. Now unfortunately it looks like Target stores might only be getting 10 of these at the most at their stores which is really unfortunate especially for those who really want this particular poly bag maybe they'll do another run closer to christmas time though i totally recommend ordering it online it's still available at least as of me recording this other ways in which this particular poly bag has been available include from toys r us canada as well as legoland and various mom and pop stores got it all the way back in january they finally decided to bring it to North America in a more like wider situation even though again it's only like 10 that they're giving to certain stores which is really really frustrating and annoying. Looking at the bag art you get that comic strip from the side with your regular information as well as the Spider-Man No Way Home logo even though this is inspired by Spider-Man Far From Home and you also get that little Spider-Man logo down here with your minifigure Spider-Man pretty much mimicking the box art there. I really love how the bag turned out. Definitely a standout bag design if I do say so myself. From the very back you get all the other information, the Legoland, as well as your barcode which you guys can find this as well as the DPCI up on my website, link in the description below as well if you're interested in trying to find this set. For yourself. Now you may be wondering why do I have a tray here? Well, it's because I want to open this and take a look at something that's inside. So let's open this up. Now in addition to obviously all the pieces to build the set and your instructions, we also happen to get this little box here which you may remember that these usually contain felt pieces like capes and stuff and there is no cape on spider-man so what possibly could be inside here yes we got stickers why do we have stickers in a poly bag i don't know i guess it's nice for adding extra detail but like why did the why 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 just tell me why lego I know I say it all the time, but and you're not going to respond to me, but why do we have stickers in this set? As for the instructions, we can unfold that nice and neatly, where you get the main picture of the set, wind guy, and you build it from the front, and the very back with the drone. Likely the sole reason why most people want this poly bag is because we happen to get a Spider-Man minifigure, and a Spider-Man minifigure with dual molded legs, and really nice printing overall in general, but this figure is not exclusive to the polybag. You can also get him within the Spider-Man vs. Mysterio's drone attack for plus set from last year, so not really a special figure, but really awesome to get him in not a 4 plus set that I don't think most people even wanted in the first place because they were supposed to release No Way Home sets and they still haven't done that. Maybe next summer because we're not going to see them in the winter time. But anyways, this figure comes with two accessories, one being this bridge battle sort of sign that he's using as a shield to get a sticker on this 2x3 tile piece. I'm pretty sure this is accurate to the source material, even down to the logo that they're using for the tower bridge, which is really interesting. Get the clip piece connection so then he can hold on to it. We also happen to get two web power blast pieces which you can easily extend the arm of spider-man and press down from the back to shoot that out into the distance never to be found again you happen to get one extra if you lose it as i said before it's really amazing to see dual molded legs in a poly bag where we get the black on the top and the red from the bottom the print leads up to the torso piece where you get the little Spider-Man logo, black arms, red hands there for some gloves. You also get some back printing again with that Spider-Man logo, back printing from the head to continue the webbing. And I did also want to note that the torso and legs only come within that four plus set, but the head piece actually made its way into the, both of the Sanctum Sanctorum sets, the play scale one, as well as the direct to consumer for this year. 
And with the minifigure out of the way, all that's left here is the drone, which is supposed to represent one of the drones from Stark Industries, from Spider-Man Far From Home. You get those sideways stud guns, which you can easily launch off, as you see here. You happen to get two extras if you lose any of them, and also I really like getting the studs in the gunmetal gray. You get some of these gun pieces connected via the clip piece, just to add to the ammunition. Get the binoculars piece up here. Get the little translucent green for the eye of the drone. And some more stickers, one on this little piece and one from the very back, which worked great to add a little bit more extra detail that honestly wasn't really necessary, but is still nice to see. Only thing that I would add to this particular drone to make it more exciting for display purposes would be maybe some transclear piece to put underneath it in order to have it flying alongside Spider-Man who's trying to fight it. So overall for a $5 poly bag, the main reason why anyone wants this set is the minifigure, even though it is not exclusive coming in a cheap 4 plus set, it is still nice to get, especially for someone who doesn't like buying 4 plus sets, this is a great way to get this particular minifigure. As for the drone build, I think it's a pretty decent build, the stickers add a little bit of extra detail that honestly wasn't necessary, I, it's just so weird seeing stickers in a poly bag, but for only $5 this is a pretty easy grab if you're able to find it. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say for this video. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below what your thoughts are on this set. Also remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never to upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now and I will see you next time. Bye!